welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be doing another steam locomotive here, and we're going to be building Milwaukee Road 261, which is a 484 northern type steam locomotive. And this one has some unique features, like the gap between the cab and the tender being completely enclosed, as well as some unique arrangement of lights and bells on the front. So let's get right into it. This one has a streamlined shroud over the front coupler, so we're going to start off with three black wool on the bottom middle on top of the rails. On either side of it, we're going to put a black stained glass pane and three stained glass panes on the front. Then we'll put three black stained glass panes on top of it in the middle, and behind this three upside down backward facing polished black snow stairs and three more black wool on top of the stairs. Now take out a flower pot and put one on either side of the top up here. Then on the side of this top black wool, we're going to put a backward facing polished black stone brick stair on either side. And then a dark oak trap door on top of each of those stairs on each side. Then on top behind it, we're going to put three more black wool in the middle. And then on top of that, we're going to put a brewing stand in the center and a hopper on each side. Then we're going to crouch and put a deep slate tile wall on top of each of the two hoppers. Then the next part will be slightly tricky to do. Next to each hopper on the side, we need a forward facing polished black stone brick stair. You may have to put a temporary block to get it in place here. And then same thing over here on the side of this hopper, a forward facing polished black stone brick stair. Then under that stair, put a dark oak trap door. And same thing on this side here. Then we'll do our pilot wheels. So we're gonna come on the next block down behind this and get a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. On the upper hit box behind that, two rows of three polished deep slate slabs, and then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then we're gonna put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all four wheels here. Then on the sides of the two slabs, two dark oak fence gates on each side. Then one on the back of each wheel here and here. And we'll have to come up underneath and get one on the front of each wheel here. And on this side over here. Then above this pilot wheel set, we're gonna do a row of four black wool on the top middle. And then another layer. And then we'll start the front of the boiler. So we'll do another layer of four, four black wool and on the side of the top layer, four upside down polished black stone stairs facing outward on each side. Then we'll come up on top of this. We're gonna put three black wool across the front here, then one on each side, then a block of gold on each side, and then a black wool. Then four black wool on the top middle, and four outward facing polished black stone stairs on either side of the top here. Now we'll do our pistons, so take polished deep slate wall, two here. Then on this outside edge, we're gonna do a two by two of chiseled polished blackstone. Two item frames on the front of it with black wool in them. Then another wall right here. And we'll repeat the process on this side. So two walls here, then a two by two of chiseled polished blackstone. Item frames on the front with black wool. And then another wall right here. Now come on the front middle of this boiler section, put two frog lights. Two dark oak trap doors on top of them, take out the front frog light. Then a dark oak trap door under this frog light. Then on this wall here, we're gonna take a dark oak sign and we need to put it diagonally, and we'll put 261. Same thing on this side, a diagonal sign with 261. Then we're gonna crouch and get one on this trap door down here with 261 again. Then we'll come through and we're gonna hit all three of these signs with white dye and then hit all three with a glow ink sack. Then on this top layer we're gonna put a skeleton skull on either side like this. Then on top of the front a polished black stone slab. Then knock out this next black wool. And down in this hole we need to put a block and a sole campfire. 
then above it a polished blackstone block, two polished blackstone slabs behind it. And now we have our smoke going. Now we're going to work on the driving wheels, so we're going to come on the bottom middle behind this, on the upper hitbox of the first block, and put a single blackstone brick slab, then two red nether brick slabs, then a blackstone brick, two red nether brick, blackstone brick, two red nether brick, blackstone brick, two red nether brick. On the sides of all the red nether brick, we're going to put upside down, back to back polish, deep slate stairs in a T pattern. And that'll be the bottoms of all four wheels. Then we'll come through the top of all four of these and put right side up back to back stairs so it's a plus shape on all four. Then we're gonna repeat the process on this side. So upside down back to back on all the red nether brick and then come back through and right side up back to back stairs. Then we're going to come in between here, and on top of each red nether brick, we're going to put two more red nether brick slabs on top of all four sets. Then in these gaps here, we're going to put a polished blackstone block in all four of these gaps. Now we'll do the driving rod, so take smooth stone slabs, put four of them right here, then drop one hitbox down, and do a line of slabs till it's touching this back wheel here. Then up here, we're going to put four iron bars. And then we're going to take an oak trapdoor and close it on the end of the iron bars. Then we have to do our driving rods on this side, so we'll repeat the process. So four smooth stone slabs right here. Then four iron bars on top of it. Close the trapdoor here. Then we drop down one hitbox and continue our line of slabs until it's touching this back wheel. Then we're gonna come up on this top middle here and we're gonna go in and grab deep slate brick wall. And we'll put a line of walls on this middle all the way to the back of it. Then above that, we'll do a line of black wool in the middle all the way to the back. Then we're going to come in and grab polish black stone stairs again. You can do a row of upside down outward facing stairs on the side of this. And same thing on this side, a full row of stairs. Then on top of each side we'll do a full line of black wool. and then a full line of black wool on this top middle to the back of this section. Just like that. Now come on top, put two more polished black stone stairs on each side up here. Then in the middle, we're gonna do a flower pot and a slab. Then behind this is where the steam dome will be. So take out polished black stone block and we're gonna put a row of five blocks on each side of the top. Then five blocks on the top middle, and then five slabs on this outer edge, and five slabs on this edge. Then behind that, we're gonna do a row of polished black stone stairs to the back of the section. Same thing on this side, and then a row of slabs up this top middle. Then actually we're gonna knock out this one, put a temporary block, and put four yellow candles. Then remove the temporary block and replace the stair. Do the same process on this side, and that gets all our whistles on. Next, we need to use a command to get a structure void. So make sure you have an empty slot in your hotbar. Go to your command menu. We're gonna type slash give, space at sign s, space the word structure, underscore the word void and that should give us the structure void invisible block we need to come up here and place a temporary block next to the stair and the structure void above it 
Then we're going to mount a bell on the side of that structure void right here. Then we can take out this temporary block. Then we'll come right here, put a structure void, put a glow item frame on the front of it with a redstone block. Now we're going to do our trailing wheel, so come behind the very back of this on bottom. Skip one block from the back and put five polished deep slate stairs like this. Then a set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then behind that, on the upper hitbox, we're going to make a 5x3 of polished deep slate slabs. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then behind this, five polished deep slate stairs coming across facing this way. And then we're going to put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all four wheels here. Then on this second layer on the middle, we're going to take black wool. And we're going to connect it up right here. And run a line till it's over this very back stair. Like that. Then a dark oak slab here and a dark oak bench gate under the slab. Then on the sides of the truck here, we're gonna go from wheel to wheel with polished deep slate slabs in a row of five right here. Then we're gonna put three polished black stone walls here and a grindstone above each wheel. Repeat it here, so five slabs, then three walls and a grindstone above each wheel. Then up here, on either side of this black wool, we're going to put two polished black stone walls on each side, like this. Then on the back here, we're going to put two dark oak fence gates here, and two here. Then come on this top middle, and do another line of black wool to the back of this. Then we're going to take stone stairs, and we're going to put two upside down forward facing stairs sticking out right here. Two on this side. Then behind that, we're going to do two rows of five stone blocks. And same thing on this side, two rows of five stone blocks. And then put five polished black stone buttons on the side of this. Five on this side. Then we're going to take out polished black stone stairs on this back here. And we're going to put two upside down forward facing polished black stone stairs on either side like that. Then on top of the back, we're going to put a single black wool on either back corner. Then we're going to grab netherite. And we're going to fill this middle three with netherite. And we'll bring it up to the front of this stone section here. In this gap up here, we're going to put a single black wool on the center right here. Then two upside down stone stairs here, two here. Then in front of this back black wool, we're going to put an upside down forward facing polished black stone stair on either side. Then two polished black stone slabs on the upper hitbox of each side. And then three stone blocks here three on this side. Then we'll put three buttons on the side of these stone blocks and three over here. Then we're going to come on top of the back and on each side put five black wool. Then above that a black wool on each back corner and an inward facing polished black stone stair on each front corner. Then right here, we'll put three black wool on either side. And extend it in by one, and then on the top middle. Then we'll do a polished black stone stair on either side like that to frame in our cab windows. Then one on either side up here, and then two black wool on each side. Then two rows of three slabs up here. Then on these windows, we're going to put two temporary blocks, close crimson trap doors on them, and remove the temporary blocks. Same thing over here. Close crimson trap doors and remove the temporary blocks. Now come down in here, knock out this block, put in nether brick, light it on fire. Then close the trap door over it. 
over here a lever. Then we're going to need some stairs for seats and item frames. We're going to put two item frames like this with recovery compasses. Then we'll turn around and put a stair on each side for the seats here. Then we're going to grab polished deep slate wall. Two here, two here. Then we're going to come on the top of the cab on the middle three, put three black wool. Then come up each side to the back of it. Two on this back middle and in this gap there's a vent so we'll put two oak trap doors. On the outer edges up here we're going to put five polished black stone slabs to finish off the cab roof. And then same thing on this side, five slabs. Now we're going to come up front and right here on the side of this first stair we need a forward facing polished black stone brick stair like that. And then we need one on this side as well. And it's like really tricky to get it on there the right way. Like that. Now take a dragon head, turn this way, put one on top of the piston right here, and two on these first two iron bars. Do the same thing on this side. So a dragon head here, two here. Then we'll come behind that. We'll do a grindstone, a dark oak vent Then take polished black stone brick walls, and we're gonna do a row of five walls right behind that fence gate. Then a fence gate, two blast furnaces, and a fence gate. We're gonna repeat the process on the other side. So behind the dragon head, a fence gate, grindstone, five black stone brick walls, fence gate, two blast furnaces, fence gate. Then take iron trap doors, start in front of the cab here, and do a full row above this. And we'll stop right before this first stair. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So start right here and do a full line of trapdoors back to the cab. Now we're gonna take out lightning rods right here and do a full row of horizontal lightning rods coming forward up here. stop above the front trap door and of course we're going to do the same thing on this side so a full row of lightning rods up here and stop above the first trap door then take a dark oak fence put one on this stair here one here then one here and one here now the cab has a side door and we're going to make a banner for that so come into a loom, light gray banner, red dye, put a border on it, then a horizontal in the middle, and make the bottom half black. And this will represent our side door. And we're going to put that banner right here. And then of course one on this side. Now we'll come back here in the middle, put a smooth stone slab here, dark oak fence gate here. Then deep slate polished walls coming up either side like this and we'll put three iron trap doors across the top of here because this walkway is enclosed on this one then we're going to come under the windows here with a dark oak sign we're going to put a sign with two a sign with six a sign with one then we'll hit those with yellow dye and a glow ink sack and we'll go ahead and do it on this side. So a sign with two, sign with six, sign with one. And hit those with yellow dye and a glow ink sack. Now we'll start the tender. So come behind here, skip one block back, get another right on the rail, skip a block another one, skip a block another one. 
then add on round axles, and then netherite wheels on this side of each one. Then we'll take polished deep slate slab on the upper hip box here, and we'll come five wide right here, and five wide in between all of them, and five wide at the back. Then we're gonna come behind this, and we're gonna skip to the sixth block out. And we'll put another right here. Skip one, another one. Skip one, another. And turn these all into another right wheels with end rod axles. Same as before, we'll put five slabs across here. So there should be a gap of four in between these slabs. And then five slabs in between the wheels and five across the back. Now we're gonna come on the top middle behind this slab and do a full row of black wool up the center till it's one block past these slabs. Then two black stone walls on either side of the back up here. And then we'll do another line of black wool on the side here. And on this side here. Then we're gonna come through and on the side of all the wheels, we're gonna put a wither skeleton skull. Same thing on this side here. Then we'll come back through and put a single polished deep slate slab above each of the three wheels. Same thing on this side, slabs above these wheels. Now I'll come under here with dark oak fence gates. Put two under here. Come to the other side and do the same thing. Two here. Then take out a dark oak stair for the rear coupler. Come to the back and stack it up to this middle block here. Then under that, we're gonna put two sideways dark oak fence gates. Then we're gonna to come to the front of it on top, three black wool on this top middle, and on the sides up here, two upside down polished black stone stairs here, two on this side. Then we'll fill each side of this with a row of black wool coming back. And we'll come across the back one block before these walls. Then on the side of this, we'll do a full line of black stone walls up to these stairs. And then same thing on this side, a full line of black stone walls. Then we'll come up front with black wool again, and we'll come five across, and we're gonna raise it up three high. And then we're gonna come all the way down the side three high with the black wool. And then come across this back three high. And then all the way back up this side. So we've made a three block tall giant rectangle of black wool here. Just like that. Then on the side up here, put a stone button here and here. And one on the back here and here. Do the same thing back here and up here on the front. Then we'll do the coal bunker. So on top of the front, we're gonna put an outward facing polished black stone stair on either side of the front, three black wool across the middle. Behind it, we're gonna use smooth basalt for our coal and we're gonna do a line of seven coming back and make that three wide. Then three black wool behind it and then another stair on each outside edge. Then on this side gap, fill it with polished black stone slabs and on this side here. Then we'll fill the rest of the top of this where this hole is with black wool all the way across it. And then we're gonna come to the back. We're gonna put a glow item frame with a frog light here. And then we're gonna do a column of dark oak fence gates up either side like this and open them all. Then turn around 
open a fence gate here and here. Then we'll do a full line of fence gates up this outside edge to this stair and on this side. Then take polished black stone slabs out, two rows of three here, and two rows of three right here. Now we'll do the logo on the side of the tender. Come up here, we're gonna knock out these two blocks, put in red concrete, and then these two down here. Then put birch buttons on all of them. And of course, we'll do the same thing over here. So we'll knock out these two, red concrete, then these two, red concrete, birch buttons on all of them. And there we have it, folks. We've completed Milwaukee Road 261, our 484 steam locomotive here. I hope everyone enjoyed this build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.